Hi. In this lecture, we will look at the last few steps of EBS configuration in SAP. In the last lecture, we created the transaction type BAI. Now, the transaction type BAI has to be assigned to the external transaction types. Uh, which are there in the EBS statement. So uh, there is a mapping of external transaction types in EBS to the posting rules and then these are combinedly assigned to the BAI or transaction type. To Before we do this, we need to understand the EBS file format. So here is a sample EBS BAI2 file format. This has been created using SAP test program which we will go in later. So you see the first row starts with the first field 01. A 01 represents the group file header, file header. Then the next row is 02 which represents the group header. 03 represents the uh, account header. Now if you look at the first row 01, the first field is 01 which is header, uh, the file header. Then the next field is SAP test program and the name of the program. I mean, this basically tells the program or the sender of the file. The next field is KAT receiver. This is the receiver of the file. The next field is 160911, which is the date on which the program file was created with in terms of year, month and day. Uh, let's look at the next row, which is 02, which means the account header. After that, we have KAT receiver. This is the uh, party which is uh, going to receive the EBS statement. In our case, let's say company ABC. So ABC name will be there. Uh, the next field is 02100089. Well, this is again the sender party or the account from which the electronic bank statement is being sent and so on. The third row is 03. Uh, there again, uh, the transaction type has to be there, which is missing. Then we have a US dollar, which is the currency type. And uh, then we look at the other transaction, other, other, fear, other codes like 49, which is the trailer for the account trailer 98 which is the group trailer and uh, 99 which is the file trailer uh, below i have given some more codes like 01 02 03 which we have discussed 49 98 19 we have discussed 16 is very important 16 contains the transaction details that is uh, the check payment details ach payment details check received details so all these details are in the row which starts with the code 16. Now I have given some of the important ex codes which are there in the EBS are listed here. Uh, the first code is 115. So if a row uh, starts with the code 16 which means it's a transaction detail followed by 115 which means this row has details of logbox deposit. Let's do the next next transaction code 455. So if a row in EBS starts with 16, means it is a transaction details. Second field has value 455 will mean this row will have provide details of ACH payment made to the vendor. Third code is external transaction code 475. So if in a EBS uh, row starts with 16, then followed by 475, it means this row will provide details of check paid to the vendor, which will probably have the check number and the amount, and in some cases, vendor numbers. And in some cases, even payment document number from the SAP is there in the EBS file, so on. Now, I'll say, so now let us map these external transaction types to the posting rules in SAP which we have created earlier. Log into SAP. Go to uh, EBS configuration.
financial accounting new bank accounting business transactions payment transactions electronic bank statement make global settings chart of account we are using is ca us for chart of account usa Create transaction type, we created BAI, assign external transaction type to posting rule. Select the transaction type BAI, double click assign external transaction type to posting rule. New entries, external transaction type 115 plus posting rule Y06. Algorithm standard transaction type 165 posting rule plus posting rule Y04 algorithm document number so what are these interpretation algorithms these are programs standard programs which are provided by the SAP they help in searching the uh, clearing documents which will be automatically cleared by the EBS generally we use the standard algorithms in case these are not sufficient then custom alg algorithms and need to be built uh, Designing a custom algorithm is beyond the scope of this uh, uh, course. Transaction type 399 plus posting rule Y08 standard algorithm. Transaction four five five minus Y thirty is the posting rule, and we take reference number that is incoming check, incoming ACH uh, four five five. What is it? Let's look at four five five. ACH payment ACH payment so for that we are using the algorithm 019 and then 475 transaction type sign minus this is again the check payment out 475 you see check payment to the vendor posting rule is Y50 and the algorithm used is uh, 0 1 1 or yeah this will like try to clear the uh, incoming uh, checks outgoing checks based on the check number 699 minus posting rule y80 use a standard algorithm Save the configuration. And the last step in EBS configuration is assign our transaction type BAI to the bank account. So this I have already done. Yes. Here is our transaction type BAI and this has been assigned to the bank key 13432904 and bank account, the Citibank account. With this we have completed our configuration of 
ABS in SAP. Uh, in the next lecture, we will look at creating a test EBS file in SAP and then uploading the same in SAP.